by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Weather-wise, as we head into our Thursday, it was a very similar style forecast. Slightly warmer, but near cloudless skies. Just a few fair weather cumulus were able to develop into the afternoon. It was a wonderful day and a fantastic evening. If you're heading out and about for any Friday night football, we'll of course have you covered with some highlights later on during the 10 and 11 o'clock show. But at least moving forward, we have not much in the way of weather to worry about. Cloudless skies, precipitation, it's hard to come by. It was a rather record setting performance whenever it comes into the record dry July, and I do expect at least to be cracking top five or top 10 driest Augusts on record. But for precipitation, it's near non existent. The exception might come as we head into our Tuesday an upper level wave of energy could spark a spotty sprinkle or two precipitation, though. It's just kind of hard to come by. We need the rain, especially whenever we're looking at our drought monitor. Again, this gets updated every Thursday. Recent update this morning, severe dry conditions for the northern panhandle, extremely dry or the extreme drought being reported across our counties within eastern Ohio. And again, that's not good news for the gardens, the grasses. Another concern that I have, how easily it could be to spark a fire, especially with any untamed or at least uh, uncontained embers that could get into the air and spark the grasses or the brush to catch rather quickly and allow that to spread within moments. So again, just be cautious about that and try your best to restrict burning over the next couple of days just because we're only going to see an uptick in temperatures and further drying out the grasses and the soil moisture content does not help that either. Another story temperatures cool today, mid to upper 70s, nice and comfortable. We have areas to our southwest, at least within Charleston and Huntington back in the 80s. It's our typical warm spots, I understand. But as we head out the door tomorrow morning to begin our finally Friday, the first football Friday within the Buckeye State, low 50s, if anything, in those valleys, upper 40s. Patchy fog yet again can't be ruled out. But then we start to see an uptick in temperatures. Winds start to shift. Our air comes from the southeast, and that's why we start to see temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s, low 90s as we head into our weekend further into next week. We're staying rather nice, at least in the weather department, sun filled and stunning. It's just going to start to heat up as we head into the weekend and further into next week. Again, all variables and all conditions that have me concerned. Again, why? At least whenever it comes into the potential for some grasses and brush fires to spread. So again, just limit your burning and have those gardens and the grasses watered as best as you can. I don't have much <laughs> again whenever it comes into predictor. I know it sounds like a broken record, Zach. Just talk about it. We don't have much to talk about. We just have that heat returning. We have precipitation few and far to come by. A few afternoon clouds are redeveloped for the tri-state. Mostly sunny, the best way to characterize our day for our finally Friday. We see a few more clouds in the skies as we head into the weekend further into next week. We mix in sun and clouds, but predominantly saying partly cloudy to mostly sunny temperatures back into the 90s through at least the late stages of next week. Our next dose of potential precip doesn't develop into next Friday.